Hey, it's Kendall, and this is 90 Second Church. If you like it, like us on Facebook or subscribe to our YouTube channel. It is Easter week, and so we're asking the question, why does Jesus' resurrection matter? Today, we're in 1 Corinthians 15, verses 17 to 19. If Christ has not been raised, then your faith is useless, and you're still guilty of your sins. In that case, all who have died believing in Christ are lost. And if our hope in Christ is only for this life, we are more to be pitied than anyone in the world. That, that word pity there, it means pathetic. We're more pathetic than anyone else. What difference does Jesus' resurrection make? Well, if he's not alive, first of all, he was wrong, or maybe even worse, he was lying. In either case, why in the world would he gather on Sundays, for example, pretending we have hope and a future, singing about the power and presence and freedom and forgiveness of God, if it doesn't exist? Good grief, it's a perfectly beautiful day out there. We should be at the beach or on a roller coaster drinking margaritas by the pool or for that matter, mowing the lawn, something else, anything else. Because frankly, if Jesus is dead, this Jesus stuff is a colossal waste of time. Pinning your hope for the future on a dead guy is just plain dumb. We should simply live for now because that's all there is. On the other hand, if Jesus really did rise from the dead, man, it changes everything everything. If Jesus genuinely is alive, then we have hope and we have a future because anybody who can conquer death can certainly handle whatever life is throwing me at the moment and I can trust him with it. Anyone who can conquer death can certainly do whatever else he claims. Forgive us, remove our shame, break our chains, heal our wounds, lift the weight from my shoulders. It makes all the difference that Jesus rose from the dead. He has the power to transform you, to remake you. Invite him to do just that. We'll talk to you soon.